Hey guys, Fast from X Force here. Uh, today we're going to have a look at the MP5 submachine gun. Uh, Joel Blaster. Let's have a look at this little guy. Now, a little bit of background. These rifles were first made around 1960. Um, currently used by about 40 countries. Uh, the military, armed forces, police, uh, SWAT, uh, all these guys sort of use. It's very small, very agile, sort of uh, very easy to handle sort of a blaster. They shoot 7-8 uh, mil gels. They come with a lot, I guess, here. you got your glasses, your battery, I've already put that in. The magazine, which is quite small, unfortunately. Uh, it doesn't hold a lot. Now this from what I've been told is has the M4 Terminator inside so the gearbox uh, is an M4 Terminator which everybody loves for the amount of things you can mod them. Uh, there's a lot of accessories out there. Again, all your uh, instructions are in Chinese. Yay! Now let's have a look at the blaster itself. So. Um, the stock here, this, this comes out a bit, yeah. got this little lever here, so you push it up and you can pull it back a bit so you can extend it. The one thing that I've got to say, it's a little bit wobbly, these pieces here, they should probably be metal, they're not, they're plastic, yeah, other than that, it does feel good when you hold it. You've got your semi anoto I found that, I don't know, like all the terminators and that, this switch has its own issues. I'm still trying to work what what at what this thing's supposed to do. Um, they don't do much on this. So, like I said, the magazine quite small. Let's put some gels in there. Get our trusty speed loader. I'm using. I like using the white uh, ghost or milkies, whatever everybody likes to call them. Another thing about this. The battery is in a bit of an odd and weird way. You've got this little thing here which you've got to squeeze. This little pin comes out this end. You pull it out like so. Put that down there. Your back bit comes off. And then your battery basically is stuck in there. So I mean, it's quite well, it's quite compact in that. Um, I guess it's not the worst one. Pin back in. I guess it's easy enough at the end of the day. Other than that, it's not bad. The rest of the body, I guess, uh, it's well made. It's quite hard. Good, good sort of hard plastic. We'll go and have a bit of a test, yeah? All right, so back at our range here, our 17 meter target. Let's give it a bit of a whirl. So we're gonna do, I'll show you semi or, or, or auto, same thing. All right, so. Now that's hitting that 17 range target quite easily. I reckon even with a bit more room to, uh, you know, probably fed another five, I reckon should still make it quite, quite easily. That's pretty much it. So uh, that's what I mean. Uh, one of these magazines don't last much. Uh, you're always going to have a few stuck in there. You know, you might want to have a bit, at least about four or five on you when you're uh, you're having a bit of a skirmish, because otherwise you're going to be out in the in the heartbeat. All right, guys. Um, yeah, overall, look, not a bad blaster. Shoots well. Um, you know, this bit back here in stock sort of. Could be a little bit more uh, rigid, but all good. It's cool. I like it. Uh, very easy to handle, and uh, it's yeah. I'd say thumbs up. All right, keep following our page. Give us a like and uh, tell your mates. Thanks, fellas.